and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star silver character gameplay preview video and today we got a special one because it's my man Hulk Hogan here, Zombie Hulk Hogan and he's got uh, he's got some green Hulk hiding underneath all this shredded red and yellow and I'm super excited. He's got no gear. He is the unmortal Hulk Hogan. Uh, I'm not sure that's what I would have went with, but I don't have anything better to offer. So let's just take a look at his poster. Coaching ability, silence gems do up to 50% more damage. So that's a ton of damage right there. Uh, you know, linking gear, all the zombies links and modern era. And it was, let's look at his moves. The atomic drop is the four star move, and the running leg drop is the five star move. So, we're going to take a look at the first move set today. This is a three star move set. We got the finisher bite, 12 charge blue, deal 180,000 damage and gain seven black MP. We got the big boot, five charge black, heal for 462,000. Uh, we got the Scoop Slam, 5 Charge Black, deal 28,000 damage, and choose 5 gems to make into Wild Card Gems. Now that's interesting because any trainer or coach that generates color gems will affect that move. So you can add a lot of Wild Card Gems on if that's the way you want to run it. But uh, I was just kind of running with blue move damage. I ran it a couple of different ways. And when I went with making the most Wild Card Gems, I feel like I didn't do... It took a lot more thinking to kind of get the same result. So, I got perks on here. So, my black moves are going to be mostly charged already anyways. So, I'm just going to run double blue move damage here and try to buff this finisher. And I'll show you my strap in a minute too. I also got blue move damage here on Otis. And I got Booker here for that extra yellow gem. Actually gives me an extra wild card gem here. So, I have a level 15 tier 4 takedown percentage blue move damage medal there. 133% for that finisher. So I got a takedown fury setup here. I would honestly probably recommend double armor with this setup. But that's just me. Um, we could, You could probably run double armor honky tonk man with that regular finisher and get early pins for days. Especially if you got cheap shot on there. I'm running cheap shot here too. And... Let's just check it out here. We're going to get out here on the road against Finn Balor. Five-star gold Finn Balor at 23k there. And let's do it, brother. All right, the Unmortal ready for action. Okay, like I said, I got tour perks on, and those are low charge, so I'm going to be, what, I'm turn two on those? Yeah, I'm turn two on those no matter what. So turn one, I'm just kind of taking whatever he needs and breaking it so he don't. Six, 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 six. Now, is that because he's a zombie character? I mean, let's be real here. I mean, let's be real here. It's zombie. It's the last zombie. I got to go zombied out. I'm definitely going to be trying to acquire this man on my roster tonight. Now, I'm going to hold the heal move because I haven't really lost any health yet. And he's got moves charged, so we can take a hit and then we'll just heal up. And you're basically going to cycle so you can heal all the time. And if you want to get crafty and you want to set up mad cascades, then you can do that. Um... That's not my typical play style. I tend to lean more towards higher move damage people and less um, thought on cascades and whatnot. So I'm just going to fill my blue up there, and it's not really going to matter uh, anyways once I get going here. You'll see. Let him do some damage with his moves here, and I'm going against a striker here because he's going to put out some decent damage. I don't want to go class disadvantage necessarily because I don't want to get caught in a pin and I can't get any gem damage to kick out. And I didn't want to take class advantage on anybody. So going acro against striker. So he's going to have the gem damage to kick out of most things. So, yeah, let's just do that. It's fine. Alright, so he just hit us. And now we can just go ahead and use that heal whenever. 
It's not going to really deal damage to him. I mean, because of whatever on my metals, I get 15k, but that's really... It's, it's deal zero damage. It's all about just the healing. <clears throat> but my finisher's up to 587k now, and I've gained 7 black MP. I'm just going to go ahead and hit it. And whenever I need health, I'm going to hit the health... Uh, the regain health move. When I need to fill the finisher, I'm going to use the wild card gems. And if the finisher's full, we're going for it. So That's going to be the play style for the rest of this match. So I'm probably, uh, you know, I'm not going to... I explained the method there the first time. So they haven't really lost any health. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the wild cards. I'm not... I know I'm not going to put them away yet. So I'm just in an order to speed up gameplay a little bit. There you go, I got you a cascade there. I should have went up there and taken the black gem, it's whatever. Look at that. 181k, not really too much there, but... We still have full health and his is going down in a hurry. We'll just go ahead and make sure, we'll just stay full. I mean, it's really kind of a waste of time, but I know some people are going to be like, DJ, please use heal move in my comments. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it for you there. On the off chance that, oh, look at that critical for 704,000. And cheap shot went off. We might get him. We might get him. Nah, he's got a black match. He's good. What's he got? Ah, boo. Almost got him with a cheap shot. All right, let's just go ahead and fill that finisher back up. This is not the fastest method in the world, but this is again, this is a three-star design. And again, I'm not too worried about my placement on those. It's enough for me to fill my finisher, which is the point of me doing that move every time. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the finisher again because I still don't think that's going to be enough to put him away. And I'll wait until he does his moves there and then I'll use the, the heal move next turn. Alright, do your worst, Finn. Do your worst. And also, bear in mind, this is a 5-star silver versus 5-star gold. If Balor was 5-star silver, this match would have been over a long time ago. This is the sheer power of the Hulkster. Also why it's taking so long, because... Dude's got a lot of health. Alright, now we'll go ahead and use the big boot. Get our, get our health back. There we go. We got our health full again. And we can go ahead and fill the finisher. It's fine. Just put them wherever, DJ. There we go. A little cascade. 283. He'll be out of that. But we'll probably have him on this next turn. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I'm bleeding. Does he even bleed? Zombies should have immunity to bleeding because they're zombies. And that one will probably do it. He should have swiped purple there. That was dumb. And there we go. And Hogan wins. Hogan with the health still, too. So, three-star moveset down. We got a couple more to go here. So, let's get into another moveset. All right. So, we're going to do another three-star moveset. We're going to swap the Axe Bomber in for the health re uh, regain one. And it's a 12-charge blue deal, 104,000 damage. You choose a 4 by 2 area to swap into blue gems. So... That one's going to hit pretty hard and pretty much recycle itself. Um, if you set it just right, I mean, if obviously if there's no blue gems on the board, then you will only get 8 out of your 12 back. But you should be able to refill 
itself with that every time, which will also fill up the bite then too. So you're always just going to have huge, huge damage to put out here. So we're going to try and see if we can do some more damage. I left everything else the same, so all blue move damage, trainers. Because again, we're going to use the wild card gems to fill this up. And would that be in a 5 charge? If you think about, like, showdown all the time, when you get your MP nerfed anyways, this black move is going to be pretty much that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the blue anyways there, just to make sure you can have the black match. And let's make some wild card gems. It's just whatever. Now there you could use that to cascade your black gems too to refill it. But I'm not too worried about it because you're not even going to need that move. After you fill the blue moves here, you're just going to pound with blue move damage. So again, like in Showdown, a 5 charge move, that's one black match. You're going to fill that. And then you're going to be able to 341 and choose a 4x2 to swap to blue. So I could just hit that now, not choose the gems, and then hit the finisher on the same turn. But let's hit this and see what the damage of this is going to be with the blue gems breaking too. Let's do that. So we got four extra, so that is 12 blue that we broke there. No extra cascade, and that's going to be 443,000 right there. So not terrible. And again, this is a 5-star silver versus a 5-star gold. So now that we know we can do that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this. And just not take that. And then just go ahead and hit this for the 587. And get that. And Cheap Shot didn't go off. But he doesn't have black on the board. And that's going to do it right there. Putting down the gold with the quickness. Zombie Hogan with some killer three-star movesets. So let's get out there and check out what these other moves Okay, are. still a three-star moveset, but I got an idea here. We're going to go with the Scoop Slam as our filler move. Only five charge still. We're going to use that to fill up blue and red if we can. Then we're going to hit Hulking Up. Five charge red. Deal 11,000 damage and choose two rows to make into multiply gems of strength five. Then we're going to hit the Axe Bomber and destroy both of those rows with blue gems and that's our main color so we're gonna go matt hardy on here to make them multiply gem strength seven and we're gonna go rvd on here for blue gems do 35 percent more damage and we are gonna put alpha on here for blue gems do 10 percent more damage and we're gonna keep booker for our extra gem on the wild card move here so let's go out here against finn balor again and I think we're going to find our, our thing. I left the strap set up the same, but this would probably be better with a double fury as we're trying to break a lot of gems. But my, my blue move damage metal is only for takedown. So it is what it is. Hmm. I need to fill blue with this. I want to make sure I don't get this messed up. So I'm not going to try to hit the multiply move first. Because what I'm trying to set up... That's fine. I want to leave some blue on the board somewhere to work off of. So. Yeah, that works too. Okay, 219 there. Now I got the red and the blue ready. That's what I wanted to set up. So we're going to see it next turn. Of course you take them blue gems. What a jerk. This is what I wanted to check. Hulking up. Let's choose two rows. Well, you know, if I work off them ones on the bottom, that's not going to let me break the entire row. So I better not work off of them. Let's... Hmm. Can I do that? Alright, let's try it like this first. Suppose I probably could have done it there. Let's see. 
I want that one involved because I want to break all these gems on the side of it and everything too. Let's see how that does. 1.2 million damage! Let's go. 1.2 mil. I knew I knew there was a heavy hitting combo coming up there somewhere. So that was the one, baby. That was the one. So you gotta love it. Let's see. Let's just check out the last moves. Okay, let's check out the last moves that I got for you. This has the four and five star moves in here. So we got the running leg drop. It's another finisher. 15 charge blue deal. 163,000 damage plus 24,000 bonus damage for every multiply gem and pin the opponent. And then we had the hulking up that you already knew, choosing the two rows of multiply. But now we got the atomic drop, eight charge, red deal, 28,000 damage, and choose six multiply to destroy. So in my entourage now, I got sting for red move charge. I got demon valor for multiply gems do more damage. So now we're doing 32,000 bonus damage for every multiply. We got Otis on here for 5% blue move damage and Appa still for 10% blue gem damage. Strap still the same. Take down Fury with the 133% blue move damage on there. And we're going to go out here one more time against Finn Balor and try out our five-star move set here. It's the four and five stars. All, it's all together now. Okay, so we want to choose... What we need is 11 blue if we want to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Well, we're going to have to pin if we want to fill blue. Because that's all the space we have to go. So we can choose two rows to make into multiply. So what we want to do is fill the finisher. But at the same time, we want to recharge red. Because what we want to do is leave multiply gems on the board. So we can set up a really big finisher. So we're going to take, there's 10, or let's get our, let's just get our blue and red all finished there. And I'm going to take these loot boxes because I like loot. So we're all full now. We're all full now. And that was plus 300k right there. So not too bad. And we've got five multiply on the board still. So all wasn't lost. Um, so what we can do is we can put down rows of multiply here and this only takes five to charge it, but it would take 10 to charge the other one. So let's do this. Let's put these down here. There's some red gems down there. If we want to hit this again, we need five charge. Let's just do that to be safe. I could try to fill the whole board up. I may. Let's take two of them and hope we don't got a cascade. I didn't look too closely. Oh. Well, that's as close as we can get anyways. If I wouldn't have got that cascade, I was thinking I might have had enough spots on the board to hit the other move again. If you get enough board left, you can fill the whole board with this. Recycling itself. If I waited another turn, I probably could. Here we go. 385 plus 32,000 bonus for every one of those multiply gems. Survey says... Wow! Melted him. 1.4 million damage right there. You gotta love it. Let's go, Hulkster. If you're excited about Hulk Hogan, put a thumbs up on this video. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. I'm going for him. I'm pulling tonight. Be on the stream tonight because we're going to get crazy tonight. We're going for Hulk Hogan. And yeah, I'm going to leave you with that. Until next time, y'all.